Stroke down the left field line. Staus into the corner. That's into the bullpen and gone. Christian Franklin's first home run of the season. Yeah, it's going to be tough. That one rocketed to right. Back to the wall. Goodbye. Maybe the first of many at Mom Walker for Brady Slavens, a missile. Moore gives this one a ride to left. This ball's going to go over the bullpen. And Robert Moore, his first home run of the season, is a no-doubter. That's some lift. Lifted back to the bullpen. Goodbye. First home run from Caden Wallace, and the Razorbacks have taken the lead. Welch sends one down the line to left. If it's fair, it's gone. It is gone. Clearing the seats. And a pair of Razorbacks this inning. They've each hit their first. Not where it can get me running the shoe. Franklin might have one here. Deep to right, back to the bullpen. Goodbye. There's the opposite field power from Christian Franklin. They were playing before the big league season. Franklin gives this one a ride. Deep right center. It's got a chance to go. That's the third home run in three days for Christian Franklin. Spoons that were about six foot tall. They'd bring into the park. I think that's gone. That one is launched to left. It's up. It's out. It's gone. That thing just disappeared into the hill in left field. Stiff test. Slavens. Tomahawks one to right. This thing may hit the scoreboard. Way out of here. Back to back go the Hawks. That's some power. Caden Wallace and then Brady Slavens. There's more. Jacking one. Deep right. Get out of here, ball. Hogs are within one. There's your spark. There's the spark. In the air. Deep right center field. Did he do it again? Yes, he did! Robert Moore gives the Razorbacks the lead with his second homer of the game. Between first and second base. That's not a ground ball. That struck well. It is gone. Three run, home run, Cullen Smith. And just like that, it's back to a one run game. Jones looking to finish the inning. Gregory, high fly ball, right field. Anderson against the fence. Get out of here, ball. Zach Gregory makes it 7 to 5. 0-2 in the air, left field, sending Perkins back to the fence. Get out of here, opposite field, Brady Slavens. Number four on the year, Gregory at first. Nesbitt gets into one towards the left field corner. Get out of here, ball. Hogs go big fly again this time. Jacob Nesbitt's first hit of the season. Something that will put a target on team's backs. Good arm. Lifting one high and deep to right center. Towards the wall and gone. That's your first hit of the game, and it scores two on the home run from Goodhart. He's here at the Love Shack. That one is hit deep down the line and left. If it's fair, it's gone. Goodbye, tie game. You just felt like that. In the 10th inning in a tie game. My goodness, can he do it? This thing is going to hit the apartment complex. Goodbye. Deep into the rust of night. He's absolutely destroyed. Oh, he knew it. Nice flip. That is called getting it all, Brett. Caden Wallace lifting one to left. Does he have enough? Goodbye. Back to back games. Caden Wallace plays long ball.
This is getting interesting. And Slavin sends that to right. That's uh -oh. well hit. More. Right field. A five. Oh, but hats off to the Crimson Tide for doing that. I, I, I totally agree. That's a, it's something they did not have to do. Franklin gives one a ride to deep right. This ball's gone. Christian Franklin's fourth home run of the year. And the Razorbacks are on the board. Casey Opitz hitting 333. He's looking for his first home run. Did he get it there? How about that on cue? Casey Opitz delivers. There's number one. And the Razorbacks strike first. And maybe even being a national seed. You know, usually it's 18, 18 conference wins to get there. Uh oh. Slavins with a well hit ball to right, and that one's not coming back. One of the quotes I saw even this week said, leaders create leaders. That's a blast by Braden Webb. Webb down the line and left. That ball's gone. On base all five times tonight. I hate to say it, that's not my guy, but I'm going to get this guy. Or he's going to hit one a mile to the hill and left. Up, out, and long gone. Lifted. High in the air, deep left field, and Thor will score on the grand slam from Nesbitt. And the only question was, is he going to pass a teammate? He takes. Here's Goodhart, a couple of singles today for Matt. He drives one to deep right field. This thing may land on top of the building. A monster home run. Disappearing out of sight. It's a spotlight on your entire program. And for uh, for some, it hasn't been there for a little while. That ball hit deep to right field, and Gregory has himself a home run. Logan Tanner doing the catching, the 2-2. There's a shot into right field and hit well. And that ball was way out of the yard. A home run for Matt Goodhart. And the fourth of the season for the left-handed hitting DH. Lot on the infield. There's a fly ball hit in the air into deep left center field. Back goes Rowdy Jordan with a ballpark hold it. No. And back-to-back -back home runs for Arkansas here in the top of the first inning by Matt Goodhart and Caden Wallace. He goes the other way into right field. That ball well hit. That ball may get out of here, and it does. And three home runs in the inning for Arkansas. And the Razorbacks on the road take an early 3-0 lead. Five pitches through three frames. There's a drive down the left field line. If it stays fair, it's well out of the ballpark. And that is a home run way out of the yard for Christian Franklin. Well, we saw Franklin go the other way with one. He just pulled that one way out of the field. Whether it would stay fair. It was hooking just a little bit. And he got every bit of it. He stayed. Brief stint in St. Louis. That's where he ended his career, wasn't it? There's a fly ball lifted in the left field. Wynn may get this one, and it is going to take it out of the ballpark. A home run for Braden Webb. A solo shot to left field with one out here in the fifth inning in Arkansas. Fly ball left center field and well hit, and Arkansas has the lead. A three-run home run by Christian Franklin, his third of the weekend. And the Hogs are up 5-4. Well, Franklin is just mashing the baseball this weekend. Fly ball lifted down the left field line into the corner. Will it stay fair? Yes, it will. A home run for Cullen Smith. He goes opposite field, his second home run of the season. Make the play, but you go back to... And there's a shot into center field. Well hit. Back goes Jordan at the wall, and that ball is gone. Goodhart 
with a two-run home run, and Arkansas has an 8-5 lead. Has built this team. Goodhart, by the way, was walked his first time up, launches this one deep to right. See you later. It built it on power, and it's a ninth home run of the weekend for the Razorbacks. Going to come back with some soft stuff as well. That ball's hit well. In the air, deep left center field. It's gone up on the hill. Charlie Welch has five hits all year. Two of those have been home runs. Be former big leaguer. They remind you with that. That one's clubbed to left field. It has a chance to get up on the hill, and that thing is gone. Jalen Battles. I can't imagine myself. Supposed to be a senior in high school. That ball hit deep to right field. Does Leach have his first college home run? Yes, sir. Does he have another? Battles hit a home run in the last at bat. Where's the man with the cap? Another home run from Battles. Hit he just about got his second. <laughs> Robert Moore lifting one high in the air, deep right. And Bob Moore, ball player, is a double away from the cycle. That thing may have cleared. Time, you just, if you're a hitter, keep those hands on the bat. You don't know if you're going to get granted. That one's not coming back to the bullpen and beyond. A home run for Brayden Webb. On Saturday, base hits in the sixth, eighth, and ninth innings. Haven't seen the power, maybe we do there. That one hit to left, back to the bullpen, and it's gone. The seventh home run of the year for Kate Wallace. Natives are restless already. Slavens crushes one to center. Williams turning and running, looking up, that ball's gone. To dead center. Hit a mile in the air to left. Win, do your thing. Pushing that one back to the bullpen, and it's going to go. The third home run of the year for Charlie Welch. That's where we went out and got Slavens. Moore lifts one to right field. This ball starts to carry. It's got a chance. It's going to go. Robert Moore homers to right field. The most surprising thing to see Cullen Smith square. He does not. He just hits a fly ball to deep center field. McCants on the run. McCants to the track, and that ball's gone. Hit the top of the wall and bounced over. And Cullen Smith hits his third home run of the year to give Arkansas a 3 to nothing lead. The 1-2 from Diamond. This ball pretty well hit to left field. Kevin Graham to the track. He'll watch it leave the yard. Second home run of the inning for Arkansas. And the Razorbacks lead it five to nothing. High fly ball to left. Kevin Graham gets to the warning track, and that ball's gone into the bullpen. Caden Wallace hit it a ton into the air. Nobody out in the eighth inning. That ball lifted to right. It starts to travel, and it's going to go off the building. A three-run oppo home run from Christian Franklin. Hitters count here. That ball is gone. How far will it fly? It's up on top of that building. Way out of here. How about leading off the game with a home run? Momentum was going, carrying away from home plate. That ball's gone too. Brady Slavens pounds one off the glass. First, Goodhart went over the building. And then Slavens tattoos home run number eight. That one's lifted to right field. Martin back looking for room, and that thing is gone. Third home run of the game for the Hogs is a solo shot from Cullen Smith. That ball's clubbed to left field, and the Razorbacks have their fourth home run of the game. A shot to the hog pen. Really, really good. That ball's driven high in the air towards the scoreboard and right. That ball is gone again. The second home run of the game by Brady Slavens. Get out the tape measure. Is that another one? 
Cullen Smith sends one to the scoreboard. That is number six. Torn Horn says, what can I do? To be able to transfer once, be immediately eligible. Charlie Welch shoots one to left field. He is the third Razor back today to have a two-homer game. There might be some athletes wanting to transfer right now. Another one of those Razorback hitters with a pair of home runs. Good arm. Drives one high in the air. Right center field in deep, and four will score. And a grand slam from Matt Goodhart, the fourth racer back of the game to hit two home runs. Ball to left field last at bat was really good. That ball lifted in the air to right field. Does it have enough? The answer is yes. That ball's gone. Goodhart hits his ninth of the year. A long pause before the payoff. That one is hit a mile in the air to right field. Is it fair? It's bending into the corner. That ball is fair, and it's gone. It landed on the ledge inside the foul pole. And Brady Slavens is the first racer back to double figures in home runs. Moore clubs one in the air. Deep right center field. This ball's going to go off the scoreboard and gone. Drives one to the gap in right center field. This ball starts to climb. That ball's going to go. Mac Goodhart hits his 10th home run of the season. Moore drives one to rather deep right field, and this game is tied. Home run number eight for Robert Moore. Another laser beam. I look out at the uh, trees. That one is drilled to right. That one's going to go. Yes, sir. A three-run homer by Matt Goodhart. Court down the line and right. This ball's got a chance to go. Three-run homer. Zach Gregory could float around the bases. Hitter hitting from the left side against the right-handed far. Moore with eight homers. And he touches that one. That is a no-doubter as he bat flips it, and it is out of here. Number nine for Robert Moore. That ball is hammered. Way out of here. A two-run shot for Robert Moore, and the Hogs lead it 3-1. to one. Stay hot, Robert Moore. And Robert Moore on time, trying to go up in the zone. You can see the catcher, Colin Burgess, wanted this ball up just about chest high, but instead, down the middle, you find the barrel, and your second long ball of the night. Make it 10 home runs on the year for Robert Moore. See if that will get foul. Home run. Touch them all. That one hung up just enough to stay fair. To lefty, but use it middle in to inside corner. I think he gets the swing and miss. God, not that one. Well hit ball deep, and that's gone. Two run homer on a one two count. Caden Wallace. Uh -oh. Mark Franklin hits this a mile high. Is it deep enough to the warning track? DeGoss looking up and it's gone. A three-run bomb from Franklin. Five RBIs tonight. Brings in Wallace along with Slavens. This one hit high and deep to right field, and this ball is gone. It's a two-run blast, and just like that, it is 10-2 Arkansas. Robert Moore with his 11th home run of the season. Arkansas. Good art. Does he have one here? Has he tied the game? Yes, sir! A no doubter for Matt Goodhart. His 12th home run of the year. They swept that series. Battles doesn't have a home run in SEC play. Until now! Dead center Jalen Battles gives the Razorbacks their first lead of the game.
That's ripped down the right field line, and the Razorbacks are on the board. A two-run homer by Robert Moore as both teams have taken advantage of that short right field porch and the Tennessee bullpen. Fly ball, left field. Russell measures it back to the wall, looks up. That ball sails out of here. Now how big is that call? Brady Slavin's a two-run homer, and the Razorbacks. Well, that one's lofted to left. Going back is Russell. Still going back, and it carries out. A two-run homer for Braden Webb, who got the start today for Arkansas. Making up a good relationship because when people talk about, uh-oh, uh-oh is right to the power alley and left center. Goodbye, home run. Christian Franklin struck out his first two times up against Heflin, but leaves the yard here, the second home run of the inning. 89 strikeouts, and in those 24 appearances, he's thrown 56 in the third innings. This ball's touched. Is it out of here? It is. A home run for Caden Wallace. That just gave Arkansas a two-to-one lead. That was a College World Series team for the Gators. You know, that ball was hammered. They wanted a pitch to Wallace. This is what he did. Two, three-run shot for Caden Wallace. 49 runs batted in. Let's not forget his 15 doubles. And he lifts that one high in the air. Deep to right field. Is it deep enough? Just does clear the fence for home run number 12. He just like benched like five of the starters, four of them were all Americans. Big hit pop. Did he just do it? Yes, he did. Been there his whole life. Shot out to left. Jacob Young will watch this one leave the yard. Did he just homer here in the seventh? Yes, he did. 